Chapter 3.5, Sound Intensity Problems. This section of our book has to do with logarithmic relations, and one of which would be like the acidic base relation of using litmus test of pH, earthquake intensity, and the Richter scale. In this case, we have our formula for sound intensity, decibels, is measured and defined as 10 times the log and that means common logarithm, log base 10, of the ratio of the sound intensity in, in uh, watts per meter squared over the threshold of hearing. The threshold of hearing is defined to be 10 to the negative 12th power watts per square meter. And so uh, next thing we're going to look at is a chart of common sounds and their relative intensities both in watts per meter on the right column and in decibel level. Some key things to look at are already mentioned the threshold of human hearing which is defined to be zero decibels and is one times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. Another key benchmark is this one right here the threshold of pain which at 120 decibels is one watt per meter squared. And with that, we'll go on to our exercises. Problem one, a fire alarm sounds with an intensity of one watt per meter squared. What is that sound intensity in decibels? Well, for that, we bring out the formula, which is dB. And sometimes you'll see this dB written just as beta. This dB it happens to be uh, kind of the unit notation for decibels. And the decibel is equal to 10 times the, the logarithm, and by that we mean common logarithm, our base 10, of the ratio of the intensity of the sound to the intensity of the sound of threshold of hearing. And what that is going to be using units now, we have 10 times the common logarithm of in this case, we have we have our sound intensity is one watt per per meter squared, and over the threshold of human hearing, that's going to be one times ten to the negative twelve watts per meter squared. And so this is our ratio, and all we need to do is plug this into our calculator. And to do that, we put 10 times, we have the common logarithm. And one thing in this TI Inspire calculator, we can put different bases of logarithm. In this case, we're using base 10. In other calculators, such as the TI-84, you can just have a log button and assume that that's going to be the case, that you'll have log base 10. And then we're going to have the ratio of our 1 watt per meter divided by 1 times 10 to the negative 12 power. And so for that we get a decibel level of 120 decibels. So we go back here and dB equals 120 decibels. So that's going to be our answer to problem number one. Next odd number problem three, a jet engine sound at 10 watts per square meter is, is converted to decibels. What is that sound in decibels? Okay, so very similar to problem number one. And we have for that we have the formula which is decibels equals 10 times the common logarithm of the ratio of our sound intensity Again, and we have watts per meter squared over our threshold of hearing. Again, in watts per meter squared. And so we just have to go ahead and put plug these numbers in. So we have 10 times common logarithm of we have 10 watts per meter squared over 1 times 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared 
we have a cancellation of units, watts per meter squared over watts per meter squared. And again, we resort to our calculator. What is that? There it is. We have 10 times the common logarithm. And for that, it's base 10 of the ratio of, we have 10 watts per meter squared over 10 to the power of negative 12 watts per meter squared. We have 130 decibels. So we go back here, maybe it was 130 decibels. Again, very similar to problem number one. Next odd number problem, five, a rock concert sound at 120 decibels has how many times, how many more times the sound energy as a normal conversation at 50 decibels? For this, we're going to get out our, our formula again. Decibels equals, we have 10 times the common logarithm of our sound intensity over our threshold of human hearing, threshold of hearing I sub zero. So in the case of 120 decibels, we're going to just use our formula for each one, then find the sound intensity and then divide them, see how many more times. So for, for a rock concert, we have 120 decibels. Okay. Pen is a little glitchy, equals 10 times the common logarithm of I, that's the sound of our rock concert, over I sub zero, and I sub zero is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 12 power. <clears throat> so we can solve this equation by dividing by 10. So we have log of i over uh, 10 to the negative 12 power is equal to 120 divided by 10, which is 12. And so what we can do is we can, remember this is log base 10. So we have 10, just changing this to an exponential function, we have 10 to the power of 12 equals our sound intensity, which we do not yet know, over 10 to the negative 12 power. And solving for i, we can multiply both sides of this equation by 10 to the negative 12 power. And so what we have here is we have our sound intensity equals 10 to the 12th power times 10 to the negative 12 power, which equals 10 to the 0 power, which equals 1. So that's going to be 1 watt per meter squared. So that takes care of our rock concert. And a normal conversation is going to be, uh, it's going to be 50 decibels. So we have 50 decibels equals 10 times the common logarithm of our sound intensity. And now this is for normal conversation over 1 times 10 to the negative 12 power. So it's going to be very similar here. We're dividing by 10. So 10 over 10 cancel on the right side. So we have the common logarithm, log base 10, of our sound intensity over 10 to the negative 12 power is equal to 5. And then changing this into an exponential expression, or exponential equation, we have 10 to the power of 5 
is equal to our sound intensity over 10 to the negative 12 power. And multiplying the 10 of both sides of the equation by 10 to the negative 12 power, we have sound intensity is equal to 10 to the fifth power times 10 to the negative 12 power. And that sound intensity, 10 to the fifth power times 10 to the negative 12 power, we add these exponents here, we're going to get 10 to the negative seventh power. So, how many more times sound energy uh, does this, and that's just going to be again, watts per meter squared. So to answer our question, how many more times do we have, we have to take our sound intensity from our rock concert, which is one watts per watt per meter squared over 10 to the negative seven watts per meter squared. And for that, I think we're gonna get 10 to the seventh but let's just put that in our calculator. We have 1 over 10 to the negative 7th power. So we get all these zeros here. That's 10. That's 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0. Looks like 10 million. So, the answer is, so this is 10 million times the sound intensity or energy. That's a lot. And of course, it's really telescope with this logarithmic scale. And I don't want to work out this problem six, which is a little more complex problem. I will tell you that when you says, what is the sound level in decibels of that louder replacement? You have a 70 decibel vacuum cleaner replaced by one whose sound intensity is three times greater. I will tell you the answer is going to be 74.77 decibels, which is going to be roughly 75 decibels. And without working out that problem, I give you the correct answer. So in working out the problem, you can see if you got this right. Anyway, good luck on all these even number of problems that demonstrate your learning. And I thank you for viewing.